it's created different. If you go back to the teachings, for a long, long time, I always said, gravitational field force of what we call life on this planet is connected to oxygen. Now you understand why. Where the gravitational and magnetic field of the Earth and the matter state is connected to iron. And if you understood this, if you can comprehend what is oxygen, which is more or less 16, multiply 16 by 4, what do you get? Now you understand. You sit around the gravitational magnetic field, I slopes up iron with capability and power strength field of copper and zinc. You got 16 by 4, 40. 16, sorry, 4 by 10 is very easy. 24, you have 64 sits with the upper bracket of the isotopes of iron, which is 56, plus what comes to zinc, and then you go down by the factor of field strength. Then you understand why our life is created in the structure of the protein on this planet. It's all inertia connected. But, at the same time, gravitational magnetic field, absorption of the point and place and position. Now you understand how everything on this planet is controlled. Because you have nitrogen, 14. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 10 is 40, 56. Iron is 56. Then you understand why nitrogen becomes an energy source connected to gravitational field forces of the matter state of this planet. This is why our life is a hybrid and we are flexible. We have flexible muscle tissues as protein. We connect to the matter state plasma, which is the iron, and then copper, and then zinc, which gives us our neural system and the muscle tissue. And then on the other end, by the common denominator fraction, we're connected to the amino acids, the storage, nitrogen, plus the gravitational field of the gaseous sides, now the matter state, then the two come together. This leads to the creation of the flexible life, flexible tissue combination of interaction, creating intelligence. Then, if you understand this further, you understand how our life is connected directly to the hydrogen and why to the carbon. Hydrogen takes us directly to the line of connection at a specific characteristics in a specific condition to the line of the creator. It gives us the inertia, magnetic field, the strength of the universe. Then you have the carbon, which again connects us to the dimension of the physicality. Carbon 60, carbon, whatever you call it, communication and creation of my own environment. Then you understand how easily life on this planet, is dictated. And then you understand how your soul is connected to the planetary system because of the nitrogen and oxygen, and then connected to the universal and the created through the carbon and hydrogen. This pattern follows anywhere in the universe. One local, which what we call the weight, one what we call universal, which we call the mass. 
and one in interaction with the other leads to creation of life. Then the question to ask is very simple. What is and how is the soul created? Is it hydrogen? Is it carbon and hydrogen? And is it connected in the field strength of the other matters? This is for man to understand. And then when it comes to the point of the transportation, you use the heavy side. When it comes to the point of the transmutation, you use the universal side. And once you understand this, you understand how the cycle of life is connected anywhere in the universe. Life on this planet is connected to iron, which is magnetic field strength of it, with a spectrum of the field strength of to the matter state inertia, that it can be dynamic to create interaction of the fields with the universal fields. This is the only reason we have the amino acid. This is the only reason why amino acids are created. Connecting the universal fields and the line of connection to the creator, to the local inertia, dimension of the field of strength, what we call the environment. So, anything, anything created in the universe, from a stone, to a plant, to a tree, to a man, to an animal, to another creatures in the universe, always have that line of connection, which is through hydrogen. Then you understand, why in all the teaching, I speak about humbleness. I speak about giving, being in love with. Because then you're not attached to universal dimension and you're not attached to the physical dimension. But you connect yourself because it has no attachment, it stays independent to the hydrogen, which is a line of the connection to the soul of the plasma of the Creator, which we all came from. 